Hey, as you're hopping on, say hello. Bertu, is that how you say your name? And let me know if you can hear me. Make sure my volume is up. Hi, Deb. Which Deb is that? Hey, Susan. I thought I'd come on a few minutes early so people get the notification. Whoa, hey, everybody. Don't mind this, remember. <laughs> hey, can hear me fine, great. Yay. I really wish the chat was over on this side where the camera is. It would make it a lot better. How are you guys doing today? Tomorrow's Friday. I probably said that last week. Tomorrow's Friday. February and I'm still drinking out of my coffee mug. It has been super cold here. Hey, Angela, you're new. How did you find my channel? I'd love to hear how you found my channel. Yeah. It did not snow today, but we left work early yesterday afternoon um, because it was snowing a lot. Like, I think where we are in, like, the middle of West Michigan, we got about five or six inches. But down south, they end a little further east, they got about 12 inches yesterday. So, my kids were hoping for a snow day today, but they did not get one. Texas has been having some crazy weather, too. Hey, Debbie, I'm in Michigan. What part are you in? I'm in Hudsonville between Grand Rapids and Holland. Awesome, Angela. I'm so excited. Well, the Thursday Night Live thing I just started last week. Um, if you guys have been on my YouTube channel, you know I premiere my new videos on Sunday night at, what's my new time? 8 p.m. Eastern. Used to be seven, but we pushed it to eight, and it seems like more people can watch at that time, so that's great. We chat um, in the uh, chat box during the premiere, and some of those projects will be uh, Magnolia stencil projects, but mostly I do Dollar Tree or budget home decor DIYs. So I think in a couple weeks, I'll be having the three year anniversary of my very first video. I should, uh, I should like somehow repost my first video to show what it was like. Oh, Carla, what are you making? You're doing one of my crafts. I love when you guys email me or message me on my Facebook page, uh, pictures of what you're making, um, that you were inspired by me on my channel. While we're waiting, um, Hi, Sandra. Hi, Nancy. While we're waiting, um, I would like to ask if you have not already, please head over to my Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page. I'm really trying to up the numbers, um, trying to decide if I'm going to do my Magnolia, uh, the, the projects and the videos that are exclusively Magnolia on my Facebook page. I'm still trying to figure it all out, but... Um, I don't want to overwhelm my YouTube channel with too much of it in case, you know, people think I'm coming off as trying to sell stuff. And if you've known me at all, you know, I just like to share um, things that I like to use for supplies. So hopefully you'll never feel like I'm trying to cram uh, buying something down your throat. Thank you, Christina. So anyway, Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page. If you're on Facebook, I know not everybody is. Um, if you would just go over there, like, and follow my Monarch Mom Facebook page, um, that would be awesome. So I know I didn't give you a whole lot of time, but on my um, community tab, when I told you I was going live, I said, you know, put in the comments if you have any questions you want me to answer. Um, we covered a lot last week. People were asking all sorts of stuff. Um, Awesome, Emily. Yes, I did see that you signed up for the craft club. Have you gotten your uh, January one yet? Have you gotten your loads of love that I showed last week? This was the craft club kit from Magnolia 
for January. So even if you signed up the very last day of January, you will get this kit. Since we're since somebody mentioned Craft Club, we'll just go with that. And um, if you don't want to know, if you signed up for Craft Club and you don't want to see, well, you probably already have, but if you don't want to see what the February kit is, close your eyes because I'm going to show it right now. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, first of all, this is a February Craft Club kit, $19.99 plus $5 shipping. You get this pre-painted tag. You get these pre-painted beads. You get the jute twine. You get, oh yeah, a squeegee. You get a sample packet of this purple pansy chalk paste. And you get the brand new Spring Minis 2022. I'm so excited. You can't see it, but down here there's a butterfly. <gasps> I can't wait for the butterfly stencil. This is the only way you can get this stencil sheet um, in February. I think they're going to release it in March sometime just to buy by itself, but $19.99 and this stencil by itself is $13.99. So I'm super excited to get my February kit. When I do, I will show it. I will put it together with you probably on a live. Yes, Nancy. Um, I will post in the comments, but my Magnolia website is monarchmomdiy.com magnolia design co.com okay if you didn't catch that i will put it in the uh comments or maybe i'll add it to the description of this video so you can find it so it's it's a craft club that i am sponsoring but the kits are all made by magnolia design co which is awesome you get a surface you get an exclusive stencil um that hasn't been released to you know just purchase um, you get the, the paste or the ink and the squeegee. Hi, Nancy. So anyway, if you have any other questions about Craft Club, put them in the comments, in the chat, and we'll answer those. Okay? Awesome. Hey, I see there's 51 people on, but only 16 people have liked the video. Would you guys do me a favor and like the video? I am going to share with you a project today that my upline in Magnolia showed on her Facebook page. Hey, everybody. Um, super uh, impressive looking. And it is using some stencils from Magnolia and the chalk paste. But the main thing I'm using is not from Magnolia. This is a black wrapped canvas. Have you guys seen these in your stores? Okay. Um, she has gotten hers at Walmart. I got mine either at Joann's or Michael's. You can get all, uh, all different sizes. Yes. Craft club is offered every month. When you sign up, you are committing to at least three months after three months you can cancel, but you're going to be having so much fun. You're not going to want to, but you can, if you decide to. Um, so we're going to use a black wrapped canvas and I'm going to show you how you can take a couple of our stencils and make something really beautiful out of a black wrapped canvas. Now, if you can't find a black wrapped canvas, buy a white one and just give it a really good, maybe two coats of, um, your black chalk paint. Okay. So let me show you, first of all, the first step. I'm going to show you this stencil. This is 15 inches square. This is called Victorian Pattern. It's beautiful. If you're not familiar with our stencils, these are mesh. Uh, it's a mesh stencil. So wherever you see white right now because of the backing sheet, see, is where your paint is going to go, your chalk paste or your ink. Do not use chalk paint with this that you buy at Walmart. Do not use acrylic paint. They dry too fast and they'll clog the stencil. That's okay, Angela. You come back. I mean, you keep watching. You don't have to purchase anything to watch my videos. I love to create for you guys. Use the ideas. Hey, Jody, you're waiting for your, uh, your, uh, this one. Jody just signed up for February for the craft club. Okay, so the Victorian pattern. Also, if you don't know, these are reusable. Yes, they cost some money, but this is a tool, all right? 
and you can reuse it over and over as long as you take care of it. And it always comes with instructions for how to take care of it. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this black canvas and we're gonna do this pattern over the whole thing, but in black chalk paste. And this is what it's gonna look like. You guys. This is so gorgeous and was so easy to do. All right, on my black canvas, wherever you can see this is, is the chalk paste. Okay, isn't that beautiful? This is an 11 by 14 canvas. So what I did, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a second one and show you what I did, but we're gonna do step two with this one after I show you step one. Okay, this is black chalk paste. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna let it dry for about 30 minutes or so. And then I took it out and I sprayed it with gloss clear spray. And then let that dry completely, okay? Um, normally I would say seal your chalk uh, paste with a mat, but on the black, on black background, you wanna use gloss, okay? And wherever you see it shiny and looks darker, that's that's where the the stencil was not okay does that make sense I just think yes it does it's texture and dimension it just takes this project like five notches up all right so this is the first thing we're gonna do so are you guys ready for me to show you I have my other black canvas another thing you can do to give a little more um, stability back here I have some of these uh, bamboo cutting boards that I'm sure I'm gonna be using for a DIY soon I'm gonna set them two and two underneath my canvas so it kind of you know fills in this space here, gives me a little bit more of a hard surface, hard surface to stencil on. All right, enough of looking at me. Let's see if I can get you down here to see. And let me put my phone on so I can see any comments you guys or questions you guys have. All right, turn my volume down. Okay, now I can see your chat. All right, so here's our stencil. Um, our stencils are pretty sticky and what you don't want, now this is kind of fabric so I probably don't have to fuzz it too much, but this is called a tacky towel and you, you put your sticky stencil on here just a little bit to get a little bit of uh, the stick off. Some people have asked too what this side is for. This is a drying side. It dries your stencils. Um, like after you've washed this, you can set it wet side down and it dries it, it like absorbs it. Okay, here's our stencil. You always wanna make sure you write the name on the back so that you're gonna put the stencil back down on the correct side. No worries, you're not late, you're just in time. All right, let's just fuzz it one time here, just kind of rub it, lift it up, do the other side. Now with these big ones, you do want to be very careful that the two sticky sides don't touch each other. That happened to me earlier and I really was praying hard that it was not going to ruin my stencil. All right, pull this up. I hope the camera angle is okay for you guys. I know it's probably close. All right, now I want this just barely hanging off so that we're gonna get a nice crisp image. And then you're just gonna wanna smooth it out as best you can. You do not want air bubbles. Oop, I feel one there. If you get one. I feel like taking the time to smooth it out. I know my camera is shaking, sorry, sorry. I'm aggressively smoothing my stencil. All right, I think I have it pretty good. Now I am using this coal black chalk paste. These are three ounces, this is a big tub. These are, I believe, 10.99 and they last a very long time. And I'm gonna use a big squeegee here, but I'm gonna give this a little stir. So the difference between chalk paste and ink, if I was doing this like on maybe a white 
canvas and I really wanted it to stay, um, or maybe like on a t-shirt or something, you would use ink. But this is paste, so it will dry hard, but on like a hard surface, like on here, this is chalk paste. And if I got this wet, I could wipe it all off and put something else on there. I don't want this to dry too fast, so. Now it looks like I'm using a lot, but most of this is gonna go back in the pot after I spread it all out. Okay, how we doing? All right, so then I'm just taking my squeegee and what you wanna do is you wanna press it into the mesh. Can you guys see okay what I'm doing? Looks like people stopped commenting. Did y'all go away? Did y'all fall asleep? Hey, I think I did pretty good with air bubbles. I'm not feeling any. You will feel them as you press the paste in if you have left some air bubbles. The corners are a little tricky. There we go. Okay. So this is what I did first to get that one that I already showed you that had the stencil image and then had the spray on it, the clear spray. All right, so see, you're gonna just spread that out and then you don't wanna keep going over it a million times, but see how I'm getting a lot of the extra back off? And then that goes right back in my pot to use next time. So you can get lots of stenciling with one pot. And I would say I pro you probably would use black and white the most. All right, now I don't know how well you're able to see this because it isn't sprayed yet. So let me throw this in my water way over here. All right, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. And then it just stands out even more after it's dried and then we spray. What do you guys think about that? This stencil is called Victorian Pattern. Um, it has been out of stock the last couple days, but they are, that is an always stencil. This one is pretty much always gonna be available. So if you're wanting this, just keep checking back. And if you let me know you're looking for it, I can let you know when it is available again. Okay, let me real quick show you this other small one. This is a, Man I don't know how to say it the right way, Mandala, Mandala pattern that I did on a five by seven. And I also did the black chalk paste. And then I also sprayed it with the glossy clear. And if we have time, I will uh, do a stencil on that one. Now, I'm so excited for this stencil. And if this is upside down, it is, but that's okay. Can you guys read what it says? Then sings my soul, how great thou art. So what I wanna do here, now that this is dry, is I'm going to stencil this with white. So let me get my black put away, or at least out of the way. Okay. Oh, why did I take those? Oh, goodness. I still want these for under this one. There we go. Just makes it a little more solid. Hey, I see Judy. Are you on right now, Judy? You just signed up on my website as a customer. All right. So I'm gonna stencil this with my white chalk paste and then I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try making a little bit of a border. But first of all, then sings my soul. We're gonna peel our stencil, set that aside. And I have not used this one yet. I have been waiting to do this project. And now that this has that spray on it, I'm gonna fuzz this pretty good because I do not want it to, um, to stick too much. And it's not like you can't get it off. It's just like if I were to stencil this on glass and I didn't have it like super fuzzed, there's 
probably a good chance I would stretch my stencil out while I was trying to peel it back up, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna keep doing this. Now, a question I get sometimes is, do you have to have this towel? No, if you have some, like you're wearing blue jeans, you can fuzz this on your blue jeans um, or a fuzzy shirt that you're wearing. Yes, silver would be really pretty too. And you can do this on white canvases, but I just love this look on the black canvas. All right, so I'm gonna just get this as centered as I can by eyeballing it. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna press it down. All right, my white chalk paste. Let me get a little, one of my little stirrers. Just make sure we got a good, oh yeah, this is a good consistency. I, I like it kind of like slightly soft, runny frosting. One sec. My daughter, I'm sure you have enough to get home. Just come home. All right, now I'm gonna take my white and we're going to do the same thing. I love this church. When I first uh, started with Magnolia a few months ago, this stencil was out of stock and I was so sad because I really, really loved it. Another thing too is you do not have to use the entire stencil at this at one time maybe up here i wanted it to say amazing grace because we have an amazing grace stencil too you can mix it up you can use just the words so that's another thing i love the flexibility of oh no hold on i gotta quick get that glob off oh there we go um of which parts of the stencil that you use as well <sighs> Hi, Lisa. You're watching intently. Oh, this is the best part right here. The anticipation, the build up to what we lovingly refer to as the peel and reveal. Are you ready? I sure hope I did a good job on this. If not, it'll be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys, I love it. What do you guys think? Okay, hold on, gotta throw this in my water. I love it. Okay, what do you guys think? Oh yeah, the chalk paste comes in a ton of colors. If you go to my website, you'll see all the different colors. Okay, now this is the part that I've never tried before. So I have this little palette. I think it's called a palette knife. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make like a border. But I want it to look very like non-uniform. Does that make sense? I want to start with a little, and then if I want to add more, I can. Yay, I'm so glad you guys like this. I think this border with the palette knife just kind of finishes it off. Because sometimes these frames or these uh, canvases, if you don't frame it, they look a little like unfinished, I feel. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Do you guys love this? All right, I'm gonna move this a little bit cause I need my right hand over here. I gotta lift it up a little.
Okay, I hope you guys love this. Woo. Um, would someone be so kind as to type my Magnolia website in the chat box for me? Monarch Mom DIY dot Magnolia Design Co dot com. I know people were asking for the link and I can't type it right now. So, all right. What do you guys think? I don't want to mess with it anymore. I love it. I'm so in love with this. Yes, the difference between paint and ink. Okay, it's paste. This is chalk paste. This will dry hard, but on most surface surfaces, like the hard surfaces, you can uh, reactivate it by getting it wet and you can clean this off, okay? Or like our, um, like our chalkboard surfaces like this. Okay, this is just a little stand. This is a chalkboard surface that you can either set in here horizontally or vertically. You just get that stent, that chalk paste wet and you can wipe this off and reuse it with something else. If you're doing ink, ink is probably more for fabric, um, glass, ceramics. Then you're gonna wanna use ink and you heat set it. Okay, ceramics go in the oven. Fabrics you heat set with an iron or like a um, one of those heat press things. Okay, does that answer your question? Yay, Ramy got her little loads of love truck today. Yeah, the border really does finish it, I think. Looks super pretty. All right, let's do, you guys want to do one more? I see it looks like about the same number of people have been on for a while, so that's good. Means you guys are sticking around. Okay, let's go to this little one. Um, I often get the question of what sets Magnolia apart from other companies. Besides the very flexible, not a lot of rules for our how we can run our business, I just love the variety of stencils, including very trendy ones and also um, spiritual ones with Bible verses and you know Christian themes like this one and this one I'm going to do on the small stencil just says God is good. You know what? If I just did the church, I could do the God is good. Oh, you can't even see what I'm talking about. If I wanted to do this again with different words, I could put God is good here with the church. Okay. So that's what I mean about the flexibility of the stencils. You hope you did it. You hope you did what, Rhonda? <laughs> you guys are fun. Oh, you know what? Here, let me just type it in really quick. Okay, guys. Monarch Mom DIY dot Magnolia Design Co dot com. I sure hope that's right. I can't see it as a website. Can you? See it as a website. Oh yeah, there's so many great stencils coming out this spring. Um, there's, wow, this one's super sticky. There's a cross with Easter lilies that says true love that I ordered. Can't wait to share that with you guys. All right, let's see. I kind of have to feel how I'm centering this. And actually the stencil's five by seven and so is the canvas. So it should pretty much just line up. Now I don't have anything here, so I'm gonna turn it over and kind of press it really good to make sure I get that in. All right, let's get our white chalk paste. All right, just get a little here. Hopefully I got the air bubbles out. I'm pretty sure I did. All right, that was easy. Do you guys want me to do the border on this one too? Finish it off? Okay, got all my extra. Peel, reveal. Oh my goodness. I just love how that white pops off that background. So cool. All right. 
Should we do the? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's not going to take that long. All right. Love it. So probably I'm going to be selling a lot of these in my craft show coming up. April 23rd is my next one. That's going to be our spring craft show. At my church. Whoa, that was a lot. Scrape some of that off. Hey, I like it. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? Okay, there it is. Let me see if I can get both of them in here for you. All right, I don't want this to go on too long. How long have I been on? Okay, I'm going to lift this back up. Oh, 31 minutes. Not bad. All right. Okay, so let's show you this one. You can hang this on the wall. You could even um, glue it to a little base if you wanted. You could hang a little jute twine with some wood beads. I think I'm going to do that actually before I sell this one. I'm going to hang some jute twine. And I did forget to say, um, I think I told you when we first did the first step, you let it dry for about 30 minutes and then you spray it with the clear gloss. Okay, we do gloss on um, black. And then after you do the stencil on top, you're going to let it dry again. And then I would spray it again with the clear just to seal everything in. Because really, if this was sprayed and then I didn't spray the white, I could technically try to clean off the white, but I don't want to do that. Um, somebody asked a question about how do you keep them from smearing? Do you mean the stencil? You just let it, you got to let it dry and then we'll spray it again to keep it. All right, so there's that one that we did and my favorite, this one. I love it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little tutorial. You can do this idea um, with other things, but if you're interested in the um, Magnolia stencils. I know a few of you have already signed up as a customer during this live. Um, can someone tell me, did the, uh, did the website pop up like blue that you could click on it? If not, you can always copy and paste it after the fact. Because I'm the one that put it in, it doesn't show it as a website for me. Yes, the spray will keep it, um, like we'll finish it and keep everything final. And then of course you'll wanna let that dry too. And then your project will be complete. Okay, great questions. Again, if you were not on at the very, very beginning, um, we were talking about Craft Club. This is what the February Craft Club looks like. You make a bead garland, similar to the Valentine bead garland, but obviously, more uh, springy colors, and instead of the Valentine minis, you get the brand new spring 2022 um, minis. Yeah, uh, I just use water, warm water, and I kind of rub it um, to get the paste off. The ink is a little harder to get off, but um, it doesn't stick in the mesh, so you're still able to use it. It just might, where, where the green is, it might stay. Like, I probably should go clean this one off as soon as I get done. Um, others of you have, I had quite a few people who really wanted the discount, the creator discount. And um, as a creator, I do get 35% off my purchases. If you are interested, you can find more information. This is the enrollment kit for this month. You get all of this for $69, but again, I don't want this, I don't want my Magnolia Lives to be like I'm trying to sell you stuff. I just want to show you what I am enjoying using. And so if you're interested, please email me, monarchmomdiy at gmail.com or comment on this video. And thanks for joining me and letting me do this project for you finally that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. All right, guys, God bless, and I will have a new video for you on Sunday. Bye.